Lobsters have quite an interesting life cycle. They um, have a period in their life where, in their early stages, just after they've hatched, they're planktonic. So they're very vulnerable and they have a very low survival rate during that stage of their life cycle. And so what we're really trying to do is to get over, make a big jump over that stage where they're very vulnerable and their survival rates are low and get them into a stage of their life cycle where their natural survival rates are really, really high. The uh, process here at the hatchery begins with us getting our brood stock from the local fishermen. Now, we get in lobsters with eggs on, which we call buried, and that name comes from the fact that their eggs look at the early stage of the de development like uh, blackberries. We can have a look in here, and we've got, this is a buried female, you can see all the eggs under there. Now, once the uh, eggs have all come off the female, we um, send the lobster back to where it came from. Uh, be it the fisherman that caught it or the wholesaler who provided us with it in the first place. In a few weeks time these will, should be ready to hatch and uh, produce loads of larvae which we can move through into the larval room and uh, hopefully eventually get them out to sea. I'm going to pop her back in the water now so she's uh, all happy but there we go. So the charity has got uh, some quite high ambitious targets on releasing lobsters and we want to be in the next five years releasing about 100,000 juveniles into the seas locally every year. To do that we, we use quite a few hens so a few hundred hens each year will go through our system. Well this is the larval room where we bring our little larval lobsters where they'll spend their first three stages of life. Now by three stages what I mean by that is that they will molt three times in this system before they become a little uh, bottom living lobster, which we call a stage four. They'll spend that time in these cones, l being swirled around by the air and water to try and simulate the environment that they would naturally be found in, which is in the upper plankton levels in the ocean, where they're joining that whole caravan of creatures and little fish eggs and things that are, are basically a soup of living fish food. And for that reason, naturally, very few larval lobsters actually survive to become an early benthic phase lobster. Our aim here is to increase that recruitment to the population and increase the survival of these larvae. Now these larvae will spend about two weeks in here being fed on copepod and krill uh, and other foodstuffs to help them grow strongly and as quickly as possible and um, after the two weeks in here they'll start to develop into a proper little lobster and that's when they move on to the bottom and they're at much less risk of predation from fish and other things like that. Once they become that little stage four lobster, we'll move them through into the next room where they'll be placed into the aqua hives and raceways. So once the animals come through from the larval room, they go into raceways like this, or the aqua hives over there, which we use for the more intensive culture in numbers, which enables us to keep a lot higher densities of animals in the facility. Without the aqua hives, we wouldn't be able to produce the numbers that we are doing. Uh, the raceways now we actually just use primarily to uh, allow the visitors to see these little lobsters, but the stage fours we've got in here are fresh out of the larval room, and uh, these are the first point in their life that they've actually looked like a little baby lobster. They're in here getting fed on all the right types of food, and we use specially formulated pellets for our uh, stage four pluses and um, these guys in here are feeding really well and will be growing nicely and will be released into the sea in the near future. When the animals are finished in the hatchery, obviously it's important they get out to sea. Now we release via two methods, dive release, where divers will escort the animals down to the seabed, but in smaller numbers, but to do large releases, we uh, use the help of the fishermen, who are the guys who brought the lobsters to us in the first place, doing the boat releases we basically have a big tube that goes down onto the seabed um, and we will pour the lobsters down there um, as we drift along a reef or other features that we know lobsters like to live on just to make sure that when those little animals get down there they're into their be the best habitat possible and give them the best chance of survival and ultimately recruit into the stocks for the fisheries. We've just been out today with local fisherman Johnny Mert who took us out and we managed to release a thousand lobsters uh, around the coast of Padstow just this afternoon. We're really quite fortunately located for that because the lobster hatchery is located near you know, one, of the, one of the busiest uh, crab and lobster fishing ports 
in the county. We really do like to include the fishermen in our release schedule uh, because they're bringing us in these buried hens that enable us to do our work. So we want as many of the fishermen to be interested in the project and to enthuse about the project as possible so we've got a greater chance of success. Throughout the whole season there's a lot of work involved and when, when the, those animals are going back out to sea, that's the target, that's what we're aiming to achieve. So when you see them go out to sea, it's very satisfying. Working on a conservation project like this has always been what I've wanted to do. You know, I've come from an aquatic background myself, I've been working in, in aquariums for years, I've studied aquaculture, but to actually get into an actual project put, you know, with a, a real impact on, on the local uh, stocks is, is really satisfying and I'm glad to be a part of it. If you have a hen with 20,000 eggs, we think in the hatchery we can improve survival rates something like a thousand times. So we're making the jump from an egg through the vulnerable stages in their life cycle to a stage where their natural survival rates are really, really good.